Hey there everyone, it's GM Guru and welcome back to a brand new Game Maker Studio 2 tutorial. I did get requested to do this tutorial on object based particles, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm achieving that. I'm basically working on my own game right now in Game Maker Studio 2 and I have been using object based particles instead of the uh, Game Maker's built in particle system because I realised that it's a little bit daunting to get your head around and also I find it a little bit easier just to be able to use my own sprites, my own objects for creating particles. So today I'm going to show you how you can achieve this effect and apply it to your own game. So the first thing that I have done in today's project is that I have an SPR underscore pot. So I quickly drew up a wee pot, which is what I'm actually using in my game. So it's just an 11 by 14. And make sure you center this object. And then I also just took little parts of this here. So like this top corner, that top corner, square here and a square there. And I made six different frames, which we all have here in the SPR underscore pop particles. Now the next thing we're gonna do is that I actually just have, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna show you that I have a restart thing that I have in the room window just to make sure that I can restart the game. So if we go into room one, it's just a 1280 by 720 room. Uh, got a little viewport because the pots are quite small, so it's basically gonna enlarge it so you can see all the particles and stuff. And we renamed the instances layer to objects. So now we're gonna go back to our workspace we're going to create a new object called obj underscore pot. Now you can call it whatever you want. If you're an O pot and you like, you prefer writing your objects like that, go for it. Nothing different is going to happen. But obj underscore pot is the way that I like to write uh, my objects. So we're just going to keep it like that. And then we will apply the pot uh, sprite to it. And then we're going to go into, just leave a create event there. We don't actually need it, but we'll open up the step event. And what we're going to do is what I basically do in all my other tutorials, if you guys have seen those, is we're gonna set up a, a little variable called mouse break. We're gonna equal that to mouse underscore check underscore button underscore pressed. And then we're gonna go for the left or mouse one. Um, the left, what's it, the, the left mouse key? I guess you could call it the left mouse key, the left click on your mouse. Uh, we're also I'm going to do something that you guys don't need to do. You could set it to a default number, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So we're going to do part number. So basically, when we're creating the particles, we want to have a random amount of them created. Instead of just creating four every time the pot is broken, we're going to have it where it can either create um, th between three, three to seven, three to seven. So it's going to choose one of these random numbers every time on a different pot, which is going to make it look a little bit more different in the game, a little bit more interesting than just having four being created every time. So the next step is if, and we're just going to copy and paste our mouse break, if it's mouse break, we're going to open it and we're going to do a repeat. So it's basically like a loop if you guys have used loops and anything else. And we're going to repeat part number. Okay. And then... We're going to do instance underscore create and we're going to do it on the layer because in Game Maker Studio 2 you have to create them on layers uh, and we're going to do, we're going to give it a random range. We're going to do x plus random underscore range, same thing that we did for the part number. We're going to do minus two comma two. So it differentiates it just a little bit from creating it from the standard x axis. And we're also going to do y minus eight uh, because basically we want it to just we don't want to add a random range to the y-axis because if it did like, if it added it or did it more on the y-axis, it would maybe go down and you wouldn't see the particles as much. So we're just going to create it a little bit higher so you can definitely see the particles at all times when they're being created. And then after that, we need to create on the objects layer and then we need to do obj underscore pot underscore particle. And then we're going to close that and then instance underscore destroy because we're going to destroy it at the pot after it's broken. Obviously, if you have it where it's colliding with something, you could uh, do this in the collision event or you could set an alarm. So if you had an animation that you wanted to play out after you destroy it. Um, but we're just going to do instance underscore destroy for today. So now the reason there's a little uh, yellow caution arrow here is because we actually haven't created this object yet. So that is the next thing that we're going to do. We're going to create obj underscore particle. We're going to add the create event. And basically, the reason we're not using the particle system is because the Game Maker does actually have some built-in functions that you can set to these kind of objects um, that you can pretty much create the same effect with. So we're going to assign it to the pot uh, particles. 
So we're going to set the speed uh, to 1. You can set it relative to your room speed if you want to have it at a different speed. But this is basically the speed that the particles are going to fly out um, of the sides of the pot or whatever direction they're going to go in. And then we're going to set the image index, image index, image index. We're going to set the image index to, an, again, another random range. We're using a lot of these today, but they are very useful. So 0 to 5. So it's going to choose between 0 to 5. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's going to choose any one of these when it's created. And it's going to assign the image index to that. We also want to make sure that the image speed uh, is equal to zero, so it doesn't cycle through all the images while it's flying about in the air. And we also want to make sure that we're gonna. The reason I'm setting the image alpha to one is because I want to show you guys something cool that we're gonna be doing to add some little more kind of interesting effect to the particles. Now the next thing we want to do is we're gonna set a direction to random 360, where it heads out, um, and we're gonna do image underscore x scale. So we're going to scale these up a little bit to um, what their normal size are. And then we're going to copy paste that and we're going to change the x to y. So image x scale and image y scale. We're going to add gravity to this. You don't actually need the physics enabled in your game to be able to add the gravity. So we're just going to use the built-in gravity and set it to 0 0.05. You can set this to whatever you want. The lower, obviously, the slower things are going to fall and then the higher, the faster. Um, and also, we're going to do something else cool. So we're going to do angle underscore, or sorry, angle direction. So this is an instance variable. And we're going to do choose, and it's going to be minus 0 0.5 or 0 0.5. Now, guys, you don't actually need um, a lot of these. A lot of these are just going to be adding uh, more interesting. So you don't need to scale it up. You don't need to... Um, have the image alpha and you don't need to do the angle direction but I'm going to be showing you some cool things. So the next thing we have to do is that we go into the step event and every frame we're going to want the image alpha to minus equal 0 0.02. So it's going to be taking away that much of the image alpha every frame. We also want to do image underscore x scale um, x scale minus equals 0 0.025, so we're going to take that much away every frame, and we're going to do that again, but then change it to the Y scale. And also we want the image angle to plus equal the angle direction. So basically when it creates itself, it's going to start spinning at either 0 0.5 or minus 0 0.5. So it kind of looks like it's just like being thrown out of the pot, like it's spinning in all directions. Because if it wasn't spinning, it's going to look really static and really bad. So yeah, that's another cool thing that you can add. Um, and we're also going to do just a quick check. So if the, uh, let me bring this over to the middle. If the image underscore alpha is lower than or equal to zero, we're going to destroy it. We're going to destroy the object. Because of course, you don't want uh, all these extra, because basically once it goes under zero, you're not going to see it anyway. But just to save memory and RAM and all the excess stuff that you're going to have in your game, you want to make sure that you're deleting stuff after it becomes unnecessary. Um, and that is, that's pretty much all we need guys. So now if we go back to here, you can see that this has changed to the pop particles. So we're going to go into our room and we're going to go to the objects layer and we are going to put an obj underscore pot right in the middle there. And we're going to run the game quickly and boom. So now if I left click this, we have some particles and I'll quickly just press F5 because I set that up. Look, we have all these particles flying out in different d directions, rotating and also decreasing in size and fading away. So this, obviously, if you guys want it differently, play around with all these these here. Like you can literally play around with anything here, um, obviously, apart from a couple of them. But if you want to change it to how you like it yourself. But yeah, that's just, uh, just a cool way to have some small particles in your game. But if you guys enjoyed today's tutorial, make sure to go ahead and smash the like button and also go ahead and subscribe because if you subscribe to me, it is really helpful. And if you'd like to see any more tutorials, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.